Here we have a rather misted or blown, as it's known as, double glazing panel. Um, I'm going to remove it. I've put a piece of tape on it so we know which side is the inside. So I've got this uh, removal tool here. This is the tool I'm going to be using to remove it. It's quite a good tool. I'm going to remove it on the right hand side first. So we'll make a start with the removal. We'll just keep digging the tool in on the right hand side. And applying some levering, working his way down. And eventually the panel will give up. And so the gap has now widened, so we just keep working his way levering just encouraging it to become a little larger before we take the plunge and remove so that's one side down three to go what i'm going to do is remove the larger lengths first and then we'll remove probably the bottom then the top that way it doesn't surprise you as the glass folds in on you so we've now removed all of the beading. I've got the the right edge of the beading there, the top there, and bottom there. I think to put it all back in the same order it, it came out in. And obviously I've got this side marked up. I will mark the flip side up when we're in a position to do so. So we know exactly which panel was in which direction. Just take a moment to observe where the packing pieces are. There are a couple in there, hopefully you can see that. And I think that is the full extent of the packing, unless I'm very much surprised. There doesn't appear to be any anywhere else. There is quite a strong friction seal with this window. So I'm just going to lever it very carefully up and down and just encourage it to move to break that seal. So we've now got the window removed, it put up quite a fight with the friction seal but it wasn't installed last week so that is to be expected. You can see where the water's been finding its way through the seal and that is the theory is that that can cause the panels to blow but there is always escape holes for any water that gets in there by accident designed into the window frame. So we'll get this one on the bench. Okay, we've got the panel on the bench. I just want to show you how much water's inside it before we start messing around. So, next stage, I've uh, I've marked the back panel. We've got a large rectangle there and a smaller rectangle there. I think that would would do as an identifier. So, the next thing we're going to do is remove all this tape. Well, the next stage is quite long-winded, basically you get the knife working very carefully and I tend to work higher up the glass and just, just score it in, in lines. You can see I've got the blade through there, so we've got to go all the way around and uh, the clue is it will not take you five minutes, it will take you much longer than that. And we've reached the magic moment where the glass is in two halves and it is just learning to breathe. So we then repeat on this side. The knack is to keep the blade in between the, you know, basically rub the blade against the glass. That will um, enable removal easier. So we've got to take this off next. So we've now removed the other side. We've uh, got this steel tube in free. We've got quite a bit of residual sealant to clean off the ga the uh, the glass so we'll make a start separating this trying to keep it nice and straight okay now we've got everything separated the next stage is to just do multiple passes to remove this i've cut the corners off there so we'll do that and just take great care not to bend it because it is made of aluminium and it's very easy to do so what we've done with the edge we've just uh, took the thick off see I've got piles of it here I just go in multiple cuts and we're giving the other panels a good clean then we're going to take it to pieces we'll get to that in a minute well, I've now got a foil tray what I'm going to do is pull these apart and uh, decant all the desiccant 
in the tray because we need to dry it out. Which is quite easier said than done. damp this desiccant so it's going to take some time to remove well, I've removed quite a bit of desiccant it's always a bit reluctant to come out when it's damp but the dry desiccant flows better I want to save as much of it as possible so we're going to put this in the oven and dry it out and then reinstall well we've gave both panels a good clean we've used some WD-40 on it that managed to clean the the excess sealant up quite nicely but it did leave a bit of a streaky oily looking residue but we've cleaned that off with some white vinegar and then one or two little areas I need to touch in don't know if you can see it on camera but there is room for improvement so we're going to keep trying i'm going to try uh, some white vinegar and uh, bake it bicarbonate of soda or baking soda as it's called i'm not quite sure how to try this this mix i've got some white vinegar spray and we'll spray it on and oh lovely fizzing noise plans to get rid of any hard water staining and give it a good clean uh, we'll let you know what happens assuming it doesn't rot through the glass. So I spent quite a bit of time cleaning these with various products. Um, basically the specific window cleaner fared worse than the um, white vinegar. So now I'm just gonna give it a, a buff over with a microfiber towel just in case there's any smears. So we've had the desiccant in, a, in an oven at low heat and it's a lovely white colour so we'll remove that and proceed to refill the aluminium work so I've got a really small funnel to uh, aid me in filling the desiccant it nearly fits in the tube so what I'm just going to do is use my fingers just to just to guide it we don't want to distort this tubing so I'll just use a funnel and I just tend to hold it there and I've got a spoon fill it up So we refill this with the uh, desiccant for the glazing and we're ready to refit. But before we do so, I've just noticed there's a bit of an edge there. So I'm thinking about maybe take a bit of sandpaper to it. See if we can buff it up. Well, I think we've yielded an improvement there. So I've aligned everything up to the best of my ability. Uh, one thing I will tell you is I did a larger window a couple of years ago and basically these were bowing inwards so what I did to negate that is I got a piece of cotton wrapped it round and then I could just pull on the edges like that I think with hindsight I'd have probably used a upholstery thread or fishing line or something a little bit stronger but that's a little tip I'm going to impart it's not necessary um, on this panel to do that so we'll make the glass sandwich I'll just give everything a quick wipe over with a microfiber cloth just in case so I've now got the glass pretty much squared up um, and the aluminium with the recently dried desiccant um, the interior part refitted centrally I'm quite happy with this at the moment I might just tweak it a little before we get to the critical part so I spent quite a bit of time centralising it and I found a couple of marks just at the point of assembly. Now we'll get to the sealant required. I'm going to use this HA6. Um, what you need is a marine grade sealant and this one's translucent, not that that matters. We could use a black one. It's just some I had in stock so we're going to use it for this purpose. And I'm going to work my way around the edges with the sealant.
what I'm aiming to do is go top and bottom and then any excess will just build up a layer in the middle so I've evenly distributed the sealant all the way around you will use around a tube of sealant for a window of this size if you're doing a larger window, perhaps a bifold door, you expect to buy more sealant. I would definitely use two tubes of sealant for something of that size. So now I'm quite comfortable using my fingers if you are not used gloves. I'm just going to smooth it all in and really press it in to form a good seal. So now we've evenly distributed it in the edges. Uh, next thing to do is go around with some duct tape. I've selected black to match the original. Well, I've spent quite a bit of time cleaning it and we're just done with the reassembly. I've got the top one in and I'm going to put it back together in the order I took these out. Everything going in the same place, etc. Quite like this till, this window till. Just give it a tap. And then finish up on the other two sides. So that's how to repair um, a double glazed panel as opposed to replacing. Many thanks for watching. Uh, why not subscribe to learn of more repair possibilities?